This book was published only last month of the current year, 2025, and as you can see, it has received 141 reviews, many of them from Verified Purchase, and it has also earned the Best Seller Badge on Amazon KDP. And not only that, this book was actually published a month earlier, on June 9th of the same year. Now, we're not going to dive into the reviews or the quality of these books. Instead, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create professional crossword books that are ready to publish on Amazon KDP with high quality by using the best, fastest, and easiest exclusive tool for that. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And now, without further delay, let's jump straight into the details. All you need to do is download the tool. I'll leave the link for you down below in the description. You won't find another tool on YouTube that gives you this kind of value. Creating crosswords with it is super simple. Once you download the tool, it will look like this. All you have to do is open it with any web browser you have. Right away, the tool will open up just like you see here on the screen. First, up here at the top, you'll find the Load Sample button. This button isn't very important, because all it does is give you a set of random words to test the tool. When you click on it, you'll notice that some words get added right here in this section. But in your case, you'll need to choose the words yourself, the ones you actually want to use for creating your crossword. As for Smart Place and Advanced Place, we'll explain those later on. The Clear Letters button removes all the letters and words you've placed on the crossword grid. To write on the grid, all you have to do is click on the square where you want to type, then enter the letter. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move quickly around the grid and then type the words in their correct spots. As you can see here, I'm going to add a few letters to the grid. And now, if I click on the clear letters button, everything I've written gets erased. We also have the Reset Black Squares button. If you click on it, the grid will go back to its default layout, so you can start creating a new template for your puzzle. And to do that and create a new crossword grid template, all you have to do is enable the Toggle Black Mode option. Once it's on, just click on any square in the grid to turn it black. And that's how you design the crossword grid template you want. Once you're done, just click the Save Template button to save your crossword grid template. It will be saved as a TXT file so you don't have to rebuild it from scratch every time. Now I'm going to click on Reset Black Squares. As you can see, the grid is back to its default state. Now I want to bring back the template I designed earlier. All you have to do is click on Import Template, then choose the TXT file you saved before. Right away, the template will be applied, and the grid will appear exactly as you designed it. Now, to save the grid, just click on Save as PNG. This option lets you download the grid in very high quality, perfect for printing. Later on, you can use it to create your own book. As you can see here, the image has been downloaded. I'm going to open it now so we can take a look at the amazing high quality this tool gives you. Now we're going to explain the Smart Place and Advanced Place options, which let you add words to the grid really quickly. But before that, you need to prepare the words along with their clues. This is super simple with this tool. The word just needs to be written right next to its clue, exactly like the example you see here. You can even use AI to do this. For example, as you can see here, I asked ChatGPT to give me 500 words written in the same format. The word, and right next to it, the clue. Once it gives you the words, all you have to do is copy them, go back to the tool, and paste them right here in this section. You can add as many words as you want. After pasting the words, click on either Smart Place or Advanced Place to add the words to the grid. The difference between them is in the placement algorithm. Each one uses a different method to fit the words into the most suitable spots on the grid, creating the best possible intersections based on the words you provided. As you can see, right after clicking on Smart Place, 
the intersections were created. And here I need to mention something very important. The words you provide, as well as the grid template, play a big role in how the words are placed on the grid. And here, as you can see, you'll get a list of all the words that were placed on the grid and how they were written, whether down or across. And the best part is, when you click on any word, it gets highlighted on the grid so you know exactly where it was placed. And here you'll see all the words that weren't placed on the grid. And at the bottom, you'll find all the clues for the words that were placed on the grid divided into down and across. In the across list, you'll see all the clues for the words placed across the grid. And in the down list, you'll see all the clues for the words placed down. Now I'm going to delete all the words that were placed using the clear letters button, and then I'll click on advanced place. As you can see, this is the result. You can also edit the grid however you like. Just make sure that the toggle black mode option is turned off. Then click on any square of the word you want to change or modify and use your keyboard to type in the letters of the new word you want. For example, I'm going to delete the letters of this word here and replace them with other letters just to show you how the editing works. You can also enable the toggle black mode option to adjust the crossword grid template however you like. And once you're done with everything, just click on Save as PNG to save the grid. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it and want more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to support us. If you have any questions or inquiries, feel free to reach out via email. You'll find it in the video description or just leave a comment and I'll reply to you. The link to the tool is also in the description below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.